Good morning, my friends. We are continuing this review from DIY Choose. I have already previous videos. If you missed that, please check them out. They will be linked up or on the end of this video as a end screen or as a card in the middle of the video. So please look what there's lots of diamond paintings up there and different crafts and tools and lots of good stuff. So today we have three canvases of cross stitch and they are beautiful. So it's kind of like a nature today. Animals, well, we call it butterfly with bug or animal. What do we call it? But let's start from it because this is the smallest canvas for today. So we will start with this little one. And this is something for uh, maybe for beginners to practice to stitch if you don't want to go after big canvas sometimes big canvas could be intimidated but a little one to start it's always nice and this canvas is 32 by 27 centimeters the full canvas so the image itself will be much smaller and it's 14 count Ada and let's see how many colors we have in here because this is only blue and black and you know what surprisingly it's 12 colors in here and just the one color in backstitch and that is for the butterfly to outline his antenna and those wings so not much as a backstitch lots of black but you know what this image look how small it is you can put this even on your clothes you can put this on your jacket on the back somewhere you can put this on your jeans so this is kind of like a um, that kind of design that you can create many different variations of crafts 3d projects not just the, as a picture you can cross stitch you this is also will be good designed to bead stitch and bling up on summer on your clothes on the back of your t-shirt on the front of your t-shirt so the possibility is endless and it is pretty butterfly 138 width by 110 uh, high image itself will be and look at this uh, colors in here lots and lots of shades of blue which is great for such a it looks like you know not much in here when we're looking on a preview it doesn't look like much right it almost looks like it's two colors but look at this so many blue shades in here it really interesting it will be gorgeous it will be gorgeous and with even with this little tiny design we have two needles as always and the print is here very beautiful here it is look at this nice printed canvas already stitched all the way around and will be easy and very fast project so this is something to stitch enjoy you know while you're watching tv enjoying this movie you don't have to count stitch in here and it's just a such a little tiny project so i hope you will like it and consider maybe to order and stitch yourself or as a gift that will create beautiful gift for christmas time because it's a it's not very expensive they they are very good price up there on cross stitch so check it out now the other design we have in here let me check which one is smaller in here okay would be this one let me show you this beauty it is very very beautiful and we have uh, cheetahs in here this design I see on the internet for a long long time uh, 38 by 49 centimeters in 14 count Ada first I thought maybe this is like a partial cross stitch because 
it feels like it could be right like background could be partial non-stitched just like a printed canvas and I think I saw this kind in diamond painting that just a leopard you supposed to diamond paint and the whole background is just a beautiful print but I did not like like that because I like mostly the full print right like full diamond painting or full cross stitch and I think we do have in here full cross stitch I don't think this is partial no not it's not partial at all and that's what I like about this because we are going to have some fun in here let's see in full stitch we have 39 colors we have two colors in here in French knot which is not much French knots in here uh, so far I see it's French knots will be on the eyes of the leopard like just for his eyes and the other color will be on his whiskers and those dots where whiskers grow um, yeah right in here and I don't think we have more let me just check no that's it that's the only on uh, on a leopard and cheetah uh, face and then we have of course backstitch lots of backstitch in here one two three four five six seven so seven colors in the backstitch and so this is definitely when a backstitch involved it's kind of like a medium difficulty because not everybody like the backstitching but it is pretty simple backstitch not much and outline in the animal itself and um, lots in here on the leaves so this is going to be a very very pretty image look at the picture beautiful it's of course the shiny paper butterfly printed on a good paper the one that is uh, regular paper not shiny just like a regular uh, printed paper the thin one this one more better quality paper but it's less comfortable to stitch because of this shiny paper but luckily for us we don't need this all we need is our canvas because it's already printed so we don't have to look on the symbols up there usually print is really nice on this kind of canvases from Joy Sunday we have two needles as usually look at this beautiful colors in here we have mm, lots and lots of browns so we have 39 colors all together and this is very calm not screaming colors very natural earthy browns oh this is pretty this is pretty okay hold on let me pull out this one palette and show you on this side first the colors you will have to work with if you decide that you really like this image uh, threads are beautiful i love to work with these threads there and then Whereas the other side would be this one. So number 40 in here is just the extras of black that go on number one. So yes, definitely lots of black. And where is it go? Oh, doesn't look like uh, a lot, but it is. It's go where is this all this orange spots, which is background and cheetah's uh, pattern in here on the skin. So yeah, that's all the black. I like to work with black. Believe it or not, I like to stitch with black. Usually black color is a little bit, feels like thinner and you can see through uh, colors. But maybe because it's just a huge contrast in the colors, you know, black. Um, against the orange it so looks like visible or maybe I am right tell me if you think that uh, 310 in cross stitch feels like it's a little bit thinner some browns I feel like that uh, but here this canvas it's a nice pretty size for the picture to be 
um, not like humongous it's a comfortable size to have on your wall for people who love wild animals this is excellent gift for Christmas and if they like to stitch oh yeah don't even bother to stitch on your own I'm sure that person will enjoy stitching it on their own so yes this is a very very pretty image I have already a few of the wild cats and I love them both I can't even imagine where is my favorite I have from, from small to bigger canvases and I love them all equally and this one is yeah ma magical it's kind of like it's like she was hunting and then she feels like somebody is watching her so she decided to turn around and look if there is no predators behind her or some kind of hunters I love the leaf colors in here looks beautiful the grass will be nice uh, with the back stitching probably in here uh, the face look how pretty face yes not the best uh, printed image because we can see the stripes but that's just a printer it's not going to be on your image at all so don't be scared all right this is gorgeous um let me check no everything looks good and you know what there's no confetti here at all you would think the woods the, the skin pattern of the animal would be create lots of uh, confetti but it's not at all see all this this is the leopard um, i keep saying leopard cheetah's skin nice patches uh, for example of the trees of the sky you know it's not really sky it's a trees see a very easy canvas over here one more left and it's not less gorgeous this one is so pretty 14 count ada 44 by 52 centimeters now i don't think i have any cross stitch kits yet with the eagle of course it's a symbol of americans my friends this is definitely a symbol for your country but also this is a symbol of strong um, very independent bird that is soaring through the sky so gracious and beautiful and this design is really really pretty uh, it's a good size of the canvas i'm not sure about if there is any different stitches will be here i was watching one time uh, some girl was stitching counted and they have like a different kind of thickness of the threads to bring the eagle to the front of the canvas okay i can see already that we have some back stitching in here but look at that and i love those kind of like a snowflakes falling off the sky we'll see if this is just a regular white cross stitch or french knot love those pine cones fluffy snow it is gorgeous we have nine pages separated this and in full stitch we have 33 colors yeah we do have a french knot in one color and that would be probably i i think it would be or oh, maybe that is of the um, the snowflakes yes definitely snowflakes it's the french knot but i saw somebody was doing them in let's say instead of two threads for 14 count as a regular um, cross stitch they were using three threads and that particular cross stitch was standing out from the other, from the whole canvas and the snowflakes looks really really three-dimensional so that's kind of like a little hint for you what to do if you don't like french knots you can also add some tiny sequins you can add some uh, seed beads and it's going to be as gorgeous 
Okay, so we have here some just a few colors in the separate. And of course it's going to be lots of gray and blue colors in here. So it's brown for the branches. But I just love the image. It's so gracious, like the, he, the way he sits on the branch. It's just so much um, pride. Like I don't know how to even explain. See, so it's a lot of gray. If you like all those vibrant colors, definitely go after different um, uh, cross stitch. But if you want something like looking well natural, this is more like a blues, more of the blues, lots of the blue in here. But it is a gorgeous palette of threads. And let's see the canvas itself. Okay, so this one definitely bigger, still nice size to to have if you have a square frame, you can definitely do like one, two, three, and four section, and you are done. So all those um, uh, dots in here, the definitely the snowflakes. There's lots of them, but. You know what, they are kind of close to each other. So it will be a little bit threads go through on the back to go from one spot to another. And here I can show you, for example, on green one, you can see them better. All those dots, it's the snowflakes. If you really want to have time to... You know what, if you want to save time and not to go back later. For example, this is what you can do and that is actually a good idea. Uh, for example, if you stitch in, in this point somewhere, right? And you have a snowflake. So snowflake is supposed to be white, but you stitch in, in here. So usually in here, it's kind of like between, uh, it's not exactly where it's supposed to be stitched because the French not go into the hole. But you can switch a little bit to the over and when you stitch in this green color you can put your seed beads something white graphic something sparkle and stitch at the same time and i think that would save you lots of time and it's still going to be look very very pretty so that's kind of idea i got this right now and that might be a good idea i don't know let me know if you liked it <laughs> So in stitches, where we have stitches, 196 by 244, this way, I can see lots of back stitch, of course, on those um, trees branches, all those lines, and what else? Well, basically, it's everywhere a little bit. The bird itself, uh, maybe a few stitches in here just on his face and on his beak you can see a few lines up there but not too many like outline in the beak so he will sit nice and i don't know i just love i just love the way he look in here so powerful so powerful love it well i hope you like my video review today I really love absolutely everyone. All this, um, I, I, I don't know which one I like more. This is definitely a very, very simple one. So between this two, between this two, I cannot pick my favorite in here. Can I pick two? But can I mention that I am absolutely crazy about butterflies? So there are three of my favorites. I cannot separate them. There. Tell me your favorite. Thank you so very much. DIY Choose for this wonderful package to review. Thank you everyone for watching. And don't forget to leave me a comment. If you are new, please subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow as always as we record videos every single day here. Because we like to have lots of fun. 
have a good day.